Hello my angels, welcome back. I hope that you are all okay and had a really good week. So this week, what we're gonna be doing is what were they thinking and feeling when they last saw you and communicated with you? I wanted to spend the start of this reading talking to you about spring equinox and some things that you could do for it. But then last week in England, uh, something foreshadowed that event and that was the tragic passing of Sarah Everard um, who was walking home at night before she was brutally murdered by a police officer nonetheless so um it's kind of brought up a lot of emotions for women in england and obviously um for men as well it's brought up the whole load of emotions for everyone so i wanted to just spend a minute with you guys um just lighting a candle for the remembrance of sarah and for all the other women that have suffered from domestic abuse um violence that have been killed by it um i know me myself um that harassment in england is a massive massive thing and every single woman that I am friends with, have the privilege of being friends with, has also undergone some kind of harassment throughout their lives. 97% um, of women in England, and probably all over the world, but I only looked at the stats of England, have said that they have been abused. Um, now, if you are in England, there is a government survey that uh, they have released. If you want to go and do it, it's I've written it down. It's violence against women and girls. If you go onto Google, type in gov.co.uk, V-A-W-G, violence against women and girls, there is a government survey that you can do there and you can voice your opinion on how you're feeling about everything and what changes you want to create. So I really would kind of urge you guys to give that a little bit of a push if you can. That would mean a, a massive load to me. Um, it's terrible, it's horrific, and I know that women are really struggling at this point in time. It's a very, very difficult time for everyone, so I wanted to just spend the moment uh, with you girls, and guys as well. I wanted to spend the moment with you, just lighting a candle uh, for Sarah and the, the struggles that women were going through, um, and the pain and the death and passing that women have suffered, okay? So, kind of overshadowed the spring equinox, so um, if you'd like to join me now as we unite the candles. So if you can go get your candle, pause the video. Um, remember energy is flowing, ever flowing. So it doesn't matter when you're doing this, the energy of our dynamic mystic love tarot circle will spread out into the world. So if you'd like to join me now, I have my Yankee candle. Uh, it's from downstairs. So in remembrance of Sarah and all the other women that have suffered from domestic abuse, harassment. Please join me in lighting your candle now as we send this energy out to the world. Let's put this over here. Okay, blessed be my dear friends. Okay guys, on with the reading. So what we are doing today is what were they thinking and feeling when they last spoke or saw you? So deck number one and deck number two, think about you and think about your person. And as you're thinking about your person, I really want you to feel that heart-centered energy um, and push it into the deck that you are most drawn to, deck number one and deck number two. Fabulous. So how this works is it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances or situations. Deck number one. A bit like how we worked out the average of maths at school, where you've got all the numbers and then it pulled out the average number between you all. It works like that with energy. Okay, deck number one. 
Can you think about your person for me? Can we get into their person's collective thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of deck number one? So we're going to do nine cards on each deck. One and two more, my guide is saying. So I'm getting a song forward coming for you guys. Um, I'm getting that Just Like a Pill by Pink. I used to love that song. Um, so there is this kind of mix up with you and your person's energy at this moment in time. Like you have such a draw to them, you have such a pull to them. Um, but then it, it's like this cycle, this tumbling cycle spirit is saying, feeling like you're tumbling around. So what did they think and feel when they last saw or communicated with deck number one people what did that person think one two three four five uh, major stuff so that song that we got is very much related to kind of where you were thinking you were at at that point in time. And there was a shift in this. Six, seven, eight, major shifts, nine. Okay, we best have 10. The cards have changed their mind. Now, what they were thinking and feeling when they last spoke or communicated with you. So that song very much comes up in your guys' energy that you weren't really sure about the connection, um, that you're feeling a little bit of a loss, a bit of a what's going on. I'm not really sure, but I don't know how to break away from this uh, bond that we share. Now, your person does very much feel this connection between you guys. And when they last communicated and spoke to you, there was this very kind of anticipation energy. It's exciting. It was like, oh, what's going on over here? What are we doing? Where is this going? Let's see what happens. So that overall residing excitement comes up first and foremost with deck number one. So they, to begin with, um, probably gave you a lot of attention, gave you a lot of effort, gave you a lot of what you wanted. Um, and then you might have felt, to where you are now that they backtracked a little bit and again that's why that song has come up at the very start now if we go into what they were thinking and feeling they saw you in a very very strong position they saw you in a very magical position that you were standing there in your power um that you were a lot you were feeling quite calm over the situation you were communicating um very openly with them you know and they actually really enjoyed that they enjoyed that open communication sometimes because of how they've acted over here with the seven of swords how they've acted over this situation um, has made you guys retreat withdraw not really open up about your feelings be unsure about what to do over the situation um, and so when they last saw and spoke and communicated with you they saw this massive sh shift in your energy, this really big change, and that made them um, really have this pull towards you, this very longing, this very yearning energy. We have four of pentacles, lovers and chariot, lots of major arcanas coming up on your first five cards, lots of majors. Uh, we only have... We have two that aren't major arcana. So this is saying that it was a big situation for them. Lots of changes happening around them. They were feeling the energy. They were feeling the emotions. They were feeling the love that the two of you shared. Um, there is a love here. There is also very strong sexual chemistry. Uh, they did think you were fit, spirit is saying, finding you very, very attractive. Um, they were thinking about whether this relationship can have this period of transformation that you can get to where you want to go with them. They were very much thinking about the longer term side of things over here. Longer term objectives being with you in the long run, in the long term. It's really, really positive stuff. Now, the only kind of negative side of things over here is coming back to the Seven of Swords. There is this sense of them lying to themselves, betraying themselves, letting themselves down over the situation. So wherever you guys are now, there potentially has been a bit of Seven of Swords energy happening with you. So they might have been wearing a bit of a mask or like I said earlier, you might have found that they blew really hot with you and then they've blown cold again and withdrawn. Don't panic because they are still clearing, holding on to the situation, still holding on to their emotions for you. Um, there is a very strong love here. 
but this sense of denial when they get close to someone as a whole debt number one when your people get close to you um they panic and they're like oh i feel vulnerable because i have these emotions i have this love for the person for you guys i have this love and i don't really know how to handle it so i'll withdraw i'll blow away um I just got a song about the breeze blowing like the, the breeze. I don't know what song that is, um, but they kind of go with the wind, you know, they change, they merge, they, they fly, they come back. Um, they really do kind of get into this air energy. So we have this movement coming towards you. You have this them holding on to the situation um, and you have this kind of I can see myself with you. I have these emotions for you. You are the one that I want. And I just got you are the one that I want. Yeah, the one that I want. You <laughs> um, so they were seeing you in a very strong position of power. They were very attracted to you, very strong chemistry between you guys, very pulled towards you, very strong emotions happening in their thoughts towards you, seeing that there can be a future here. The only downside of it is, is when they let themselves get a little bit too close, like the wind changing direction, they've blown away with it a little bit. Following on from that, um, they might have acted a bit like an idiot. It's probably the way to say it. They can see that this connection can go the distance. They can see that this can upgrade, that your energy is kind of wanting this relationship to work as we go from the high priestess to the empress. There is an upscaling of your connection with them. They might be acting a little bit more on logic than emotions at this moment in time. So in their feelings for you, feelings are very real. Love is very real. Um, and there is this kind of upscaling of the connection with you guys. So they do want this to go the distance. It's just that they act more on logic. Your only two kind of more heavier cards are these two. Your logical side and this I'm blowing hot and cold um, energy coming up. What they want from this and where they want it to go. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Okay, wanting this connection to work. Wanting a, uh, a future with you. Wanting stable new beginnings. Wanting to stability. Very happy to be speaking to you. Very happy to have communicated with you at that point in time that they did. Um, very strong emotions coming up to the surface with you guys. Um, it's just that their behaviour afterwards was a little bit, a little bit unsure we have got this sense of internet being involved over here so whether you're talking on the internet or whether they're watching social media um or if it's whatsapp etc there is communication coming forward with that so if you guys aren't in communication at this moment there is going to be communication most likely coming through the internet for you guys um wanting this wanting a future with you your person really does would and does want a future all these cards are really really positive your energy the connection being upgraded as in uh, wanting to go the next steps with you with this connection that the two of you share the only two like i said the only two downsides over here are these two that your person might be blowing a little bit hot or cold with you um the reason like i said the reason for that is that they get really drawn to you their emotions are very very real for you and then they panic and withdraw because they're like, oh, I feel a little bit vulnerable. So they panic about it. Maybe icy, they get a bit icy with you. Um, but the ice will melt, okay? It's not long-term, it's short-lived. Go with the flow of it. Um, you know, you are more in control of this situation than what you think you are, Spirit is saying. You've got really positive objectives in the longer term of you two reaching a new beginning with one another. And it's a much more stable new beginning. So if it's been a little bit blasé and a little bit here and there, there is this new growth, new stability coming forward for the love that you share is very, very deep. And it gives this celebration. Spirit, we're also saying with this celebration, there is also this element of unconditional love between you guys. Um, so no matter if it's gone a little bit peak tongue over here, the unconditional love will be what resides in pulling this connection back together. So their thoughts and feelings about you when they last spoke and communicated about you with you, excitement, happiness, joy, um, a little bit of adrenaline, spirit of saying, a little bit of adrenaline coming with the situation, a little bit of vulnerability, a little bit of a panic, um, but overall, hope, dreams, aspirations, wanting to be in a relationship with you.
and that is letter number one. So it's really positive, really positive. Just those two little cards, which are a little bit heavier, a little bit more down, but overall, really good, strong energy holding the thought of the two of you being together. And that is that number one. So if you need me, drop me a message. Um, my turnaround time is down a teeny weeny bit at this moment in time. So it's a good time to book. England are hoping to start lifting lockdown on the 12th of April. So if you want a reading, um, kind of would advise you could do it book before then um simply because i want to see my friends i want to see my family my bestie is having a baby um my parents are moving house and i haven't seen them um i want to go to the gym <laughs> so if you want to book i uh, would advise that you do it sooner rather than later while the turnaround time is down all right guys sending tons of love to you i will speak to you all soon uh goddess blessings your way bye guys Okay, beauties, deck number two. Um, so what we are doing today is what were they thinking and feeling the last time they either saw or communicated with you? So as always, works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. I like this question. I think it's a very open-ended question. Um, very interesting. My little nosy self wanting to see what's going on with you guys and, and what they were thinking and feeling. I love it. Okay. So think about your person for me. Let's do their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, their thought processes. Lovely. That was really good energy coming forward. And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes. Okay. Let's go. I've got a bunch of songs coming through my right ear. That's why I've gone a bit quiet. Um, some of them aren't in English though. The um so it's let me try and uh, get one of them it's like my Claire audience it's like a radio channel and you're kind of flicking through the channels and it's like static and then you hear a bunch of songs all in one go okay what were they thinking and feeling last time they met so i'm getting the backstreet boys show me the meaning of being lonely that is one of the songs coming forward um i'm also getting Time of Your Life by Green Day. You remember that one? That song's beautiful song. What are they thinking and feeling? Don't view that as a being over, please. Don't view that as a being over. It's just the energy um, of them and what they were feeling, okay? So they were feeling um, sad, heavy, loss, sense of loss coming up. Um, and show lonely as well was showing me the meaning of being lonely. What were they thinking and feeling last time they saw or communicated? Two, three, I'm gonna get nine, eight, one more. What were they thinking of? Nine. Okie dokie, where are we going? I'm gonna have this one as well. To be fair, in the last deck, one of the cars jumped out at the end, and we best have that one as well. So here we go. Let's see what comes up. Your person, when they last communicated with you, you have this sense of conflict. So whether you guys had an argument, whether they were conflicted in their mind over it all, um, conflicted with the situation, there was a bit of a sense of heaviness and a sense of sadness and grief and loss coming forward for deck number two. And maybe you guys did argue, maybe there was a physical argument with you both. If not, this is going to be an argument within the mind, okay? So, a bit of conflicting energy going on around them. Um, you guys have got a really good understanding and idea of what they were thinking and what they were feeling. It's really important that you do listen to your intuition with that. A little bit frightened of when they were communicating with you. A little bit frightened that they were going to get hurt. A little bit scared that um, maybe past history would repeat itself. Or that, you know, they had a little bit of a spike out, ready to sting. A little bit of a conflicting energy coming forward over here you might have found them a little bit standoffish or maybe they said something that was a little bit hurtful to you and you weren't really sure what they meant from what they said so then you went back back into your own little internalizing and you added two and two and you made about 50 trying to make sense of what they said and what they did really important on this that you guys follow your intuition so even though they had this conflicting energy you know your truth you speak your truth and you understand it really important that you're listening to your gut instinct with um 
deck number two with the, your person's emotions for you. You're not wrong. You're very, very psychic, my little psychics out there. Um, so it is really important that you do listen to your own intuition, do listen to your own heart. Your person was thinking um, this kind of energy of I'm going to try and keep balanced on this. I'm going to try and weigh my head and my heart up. Perhaps I'm going to act a little bit more on logic, but there is a sense of missing, a sense of grief and a sense of longing over here. Your person does have emotions for you. They do love you. They are still holding on to the situation with you if you have gone through a bit of a darker time with them. They are holding on to this. They can see that this relationship is something that they would like potentially not yet but further down the line um anywhere that things have been a little bit heavy or a little bit clouded around you your person is going inside of themselves and reaching this inner enlightenment which is making them make this slow steady movement towards you so whether you're seeing it yet or whether you're about to see it your person is going to come towards you potentially expressing an offer of love OK, so balancing the energies out, balancing the head and the heart, but moving towards you with a much more positive stride in their step that this is something that they can see in the future. Now, it's really interesting over here. You have Page of Swords as well. This came up for deck number one. Um, you also have the Chariot, which also came up in deck number one, likely to be communication coming through through the Internet. Um, if not, this is them going to be watching your social media, keeping a little bit of tabs on you. So if you think they've vanished into the sunset, please bear in mind that they haven't. They are there. They are watching. Um, and you have this longer term objectives coming forward from them. OK, wanting this connection to go a little bit further. We have this kind of. They're a little bit stuck in their mind because it, in a sense of like in this, they kind of think, well, in this dream world, we would be together and there would be no influence of other people. There would be no difficulties with regard to the situation. It would all be peace, love, joy and happiness and we could be together. But they kind of block that energy a little bit because, like I said, they try and balance it all out. And it is this conflicting energy going on in their mind or potentially you guys have had an argument. If you did have an argument, short-lived, will be resolved, don't panic. Um, with regard to their mind and their emotions, if they do keep that energy balanced, again, you still have this movement coming forward from them. It's slow. You might find that it could be on the back of a snail, but it is still movement coming towards you. Um, they're seeing you in a very, very stable position. We have a partnership going on over here with the Queen and King of Pentacles. Again, ideas, dreams, aspirations that the two of you can be together. Um, you're looking, you're both kind of thinking back to the past a little bit, where it went wrong. Is there a way that it could resolve? Is there a way that the two of you can build this connection back up? Knowing that it's both going to take a little bit of work, but the potential for you guys coming together um, trying again if you know if it didn't work out the first time is really really high very very strong partnership going to take a bit of work but that work is going to be reaping the rewards reaping the benefits so what they were thinking and feeling when they last saw you a little bit conflict or, or communicated a little bit conflicted been watching your social media uh, seeing what you're up to trying to balance their head and their heart but equally at the same time on the flip coin there was this longing this yearning this heaviness this i want to be with you let's see if we can make this work so a little bit you can see the two energies kind of going on over there with their mind and their heart um, they will meet that. They will find that middle ground. They will find that mutual energy. Um, and when they do that, that pull towards you is going to be really strong and they're going to come towards you with some kind of offer of love. So, yeah, it's positive. This is a this is a positive reading, especially over here with this this more stable couple, much more stable. Um, you have got a lot of history with this person. You potentially have lived multiple, multiple lifetimes with this person. And if you want a um, past life reading, just give me a shout. All the details are on the website. But very strong emotions, very strong connection. And there is this sense of stability coming forward over here. In fact, we even have the Knight of Pentacles, again, symbolising this family unit. The only one we don't have is the page, which is probably a good thing because pages can be a little bit immature. And the page that you do have is the page of swords. So this is talking about through the internet, through kind of space, working through that. Um, and there's that sense of immaturity going on here. So again, could be how they've said things to you, social media, stalking you, watching what you're up to. 
connection, bonding, family unit, wanting a future with you. Um, chariot, your longer term objectives, lovers coming together with this connection, working towards a future. Your person kind of needs to step out of their mind. Um, how they will do that, how they'll step out of their mind, it's going to take a little bit of time, a little bit of patience. Um, but they will do it by focusing on realising what it is that they want with you, with the Ace of Cups, wanting a future, wanting the love the two of you share to bond, blossom and grow. And that will help this connection to move forward. Conflicting energy, yes. Workable energy, also, yes. If they are a little bit spiky with you on occasions, um, just give them a little bit of space and give yourself a little bit of space. Remember that every action has a reaction. So if they give you a funny action and you react to it, sometimes it can cause these extra explosions, these extra arguments. So if they do say something which you find a little bit underhanded, would advise you just take a step back, give yourself 20 minutes, always 20 minutes, because 20 minutes is how long it takes to kind of let the energy calm down before you respond. Potential for you guys over here with your, your cards are really, really positive. Ace of Cups, Lovers, Chariot and all your Pentacles family minus the page. Really, really positive stuff. Bit of a longer journey for you guys, but your person does have these emotions for you. They do have real feelings, real thoughts towards you. It's just they're a little bit conflicted at this moment in time, uh, balancing that heart and that head energy. But through balance comes growth. And that is deck number two. So if you need me, uh, drop me a message. I am about, I was just saying at the end of deck number one, 12th of April is when things open up in England again. So if you want to book before then, uh, it would be really good because the turnaround time is less as all I'm doing is reading every day. Um, I will speak to you all soon. Have a blessed week. Uh, stay safe with absolutely everything that is going on in the world at the moment. Tons of love to you all and goddess blessings heading your way. Ciao.